All right, what's up, DVW fam? We got a very exciting video for you guys today. We're currently in Toledo, Spain, one of the most awesome cities here in Spain. And we're not here alone. We have a treat for you guys. We have a professional tour guide here, nice Santi. Mucho gusto. So hello, everyone. Mucho gusto. My name is Santiago. I'm a local high here in Toledo. And we're going to see some history and also some food because it's important also the food here. All right. Can't wait. Let's go. Got some horchata over here, yeah, maybe. Guys, so in typical Spanish fashion and culture, when you order a drink, a beer, they come with some tapas, so some bread and cheese, and uh, Santi here says that I when you're in Toledo, do as the Toledans do, and this is a Toledan beer. It's called Domos. He said there's two that's not as good, but this is his favorite. Domos Toledan beer. Salud. Cheers. Let's try it together. Ooh, crisp, refreshing. It's kind of warm outside, so really refreshing. Pretty light, a little bit sweet. Pretty good. Yeah, let's try it with some, some of the tapas. Mm. It's like the Parmesan bread with a thick slab of cheese. So, on second thought, the cheese is actually a lot better. It's like, texture is good. Some like, what kind of leaves? Mm. Like oregano. This is a really thick, chewy piece of cheese on crunchy bread. Sorry. Guys, we're having a lot of fun on this tour so far. Santi is giving us all the historical notes and really fun stories. So basically, he was telling me that the dish we're gonna have next, Carcamusas, is this really cool dish that got their name from this bar where they would order a certain dish and Carca is uh, the word they use to describe older people and Musas is the word they use to describe younger women and they would both order the same dish and that's why the dish is called Carca Musas. So we we're gonna order that dish at that restaurant over there, but it was closed. This happened to us a couple times on that trip, so it is somewhat common in Spain for a place to go on vacation for them to close when you thought they were open. So just make sure you guys keep that in mind, but there's always plan B and um, Santi here says that this restaurant's more on the tourist side, but he said that it still has great food and some traditional Toledan cuisine so that's what we're gonna try now for you guys just some Toledan dishes like this quail salad the carcamusas and uh, some partridge because this is a hunter city Santi was telling me with all like the knights and medieval stuff so they hunted a lot of game so that's why there's quail and partridge for us coming up next all right gonna take my first bite of Toledan cuisine this quail salad right here first impressions first bites mm. Quail is very lean, almost like chicken breast, but moist at the same time, it's weird. It's like lean and moist. Mm. Dressing on the salad, really fresh, like a tomato puree, but the key to this is quail. The quail, I never had quail salad before. I've had quail before, like on the bone, but never in this form, like where it's just like the breast in a salad. Not bad, it just tastes like a really, Juicy chicken breast. Pretty good. Honestly, when I've had quail, it is game, so it has a little bit of a gamey taste, so I don't prefer it. I'd rather get like chicken wings, but the quail breast on the salad doesn't have like a gamey taste whatsoever. Uh, the tomato puree is really good for the salad dressing. Partridge. Never had partridge before, but it is game. It's a bird. Partridge pate right here. Tastes like regular pate. Very good. Creamy. The bread has some like grapes in it too, like raisins. It's good pate, there's not like a lot of odor. It's good. All right, some pates could have like, kind of like a certain odor to it, but I actually kept an open mind having this. I was hesitant because it's partridge, never had it before, but it's actually really good creamy. Does not have like a strong odor to it, which I really like. It's all good textures. 
So this is a small squid coquette right here. I'm gonna try this out. Mm. This, that's like the, the black thing is the squid, it spells that, that the, shit. The squid ink, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so this is a squid ink. Squid ink. It's really creamy, really good. It's a little crisp from outside, like, okay. Oh, I really like this, very warm on the inside. Really delicious. The squid has a really strong flavor. I really mess with that one. The squid ink croquettes. Fire. I'll make a little char cooter here with the cheese and the pate. You should probably try this cheese on its own. So when, when people uh, used to go, uh, they, they still do today, right? when they go to, to hunt the partridges, they make the sound of the partridge for, for it to come. How, do, how does it sound, bro? Yes, so. There you have it, the partridge master. All right, guys, like Santi said, there's a lot of hunters in Toledo, so a lot of game meat. This is deer stew. I don't think I've tried deer before, so. Oh, dear. Let's try it out. <laughs> mm. You get, get some action on the sauce. Okay. Obviously, I guess you get some action on the sauce. I think all these dishes does a great job with not getting the gamey taste in it. It just tastes like a really lean, 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 lean beef stew. So good protein for the muscles. But um, I think I prefer beef stew since it's more fatty, but it's not bad. I give it like a 7.5 out of 10. All the other dishes were great though. All right, gonna try these. Carcamusas, the Toledan carcamusas right here. So this is actually pork, not deer. So it's a pork stew, let's try this out. Mm. Much more tender. <laughs> There's some potatoes in here. A lot tastier. I like this one a lot more. Some like, like a tomato based stew. Really comforting, thick. But um, the meat is really tender, I like that. Javier told me the tomatoes in Spain are great. Really good. 8.7 out of 10 for this carcamusas. Gotta take another piece. It's like a pork gravy stew. All right. All right, gotta try the partridge salad. One of the last tapas right here. Let's try this out. So we had partridge pate. This is a, in a salad. Let's try it out. That's like a shredded chicken tuna consistency. Ooh, there is like a like an odor to the partridge, but um, the texture is great. It's like shredded, very soft. The texture is where it's at, very soft. It might be tuna. Actually, that last salad, I was mistaken. It's actually tuna. That's why I said it tasted like tuna, but this is like a tuna salad. It wasn't partridge. That was a mistake. But uh, let's try this right here. It's like a salmon tapas right here. With like, looks like cream cheese. Let's try it out. It looks really interesting. Just gonna do a one bite. Mm. That's amazing. All the textures are amazing. Like the cream cheese. It's like a cream cheese smoked salmon bagel, but with fresh apples and just a fresher taste. Really creamy, all the textures just melted. Good. All right, it's been a long day of adventures and walking around. It's kind of hot, so we got a refreshing granizado right here. Javi said we should get one of these here. It's like a slushy drink. Let's take a sip. Oh yeah, it's like icy. I got a lemon version. Basically like a lemon icy. Quench for more Toledo adventures. Salud. Cheers. All right, so Santi and Javi says that when we're in Toledo, we gotta try these. Spanish treats called mazapans. Mazapan, yeah. Mazapans. This one is gemma. Gemma. You know, uh, the, the yellow part of the egg. Oh, okay, the yolk. Yeah. Yeah, so we went to a spot called Santo Tome. Santi said this was a really historical and um, authentic spot. So if you guys get mazapan, there's a lot of mazapan stores everywhere, but this is the one we chose. Uh, the, the gemma. Do, did I, do I have another one? Yeah, it's the, the dark two. Same one? All right, yeah. cheers, let's try it out. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely yolky. Have you had century egg before? It's like an Asian thing. 
Mm -hmm. It tastes like the yolk of like a century egg, but the outside is crispy. It's like crystallized and it's sweet on the outside. It's very interesting. It tastes like you're eating like a salty and sweet egg yolk. Crazy. So correction, this is just a Yema uh, egg yolk, but they have it at the Mazapan stores. Yeah. Crunchy, crispy, sweet egg yolk. Like a century egg. What is this one? This is a marzipan, and this is a marzipan with egg. Sugar. All right, so this is a traditional mazapan. Let's try it out. Mm. You like it? I like the textures. It's like cakey. So the main ingredient here is almond, so it's like a Almost like tastes like an almond cake. Like, yeah, it's uh, basically an almond ba cake. Basically an almond cake. It's 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 like um, uh, this this is similar one. This one has egg in it, but no. uh, yeah, the one that that uh, she's, he's taking is um, almond, sugar, and fig. Mm. So basically, it's not uh, very complex. It's yeah. a tradition of sweet. So it's almond, sugar, and fig. But yeah, it's like. Subtly sweet, I think that comes from the fig, but I really like the texture. It's like a little spongish cake, subtle hint of that almond. It's pretty good. I'm not the huge, I'm not the biggest fan of almonds, and I'll give that like a 8.5 out of 10. Wow. I actually like it. This is like uh, the same, but with a bit of egg too, mm. to the, yeah, added to the, to the mix. So you want to try it one? Oh, I'll try a bite. So this is uh, another mazapan but with egg. Mm. So that, that does it have like egg yolk inside? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Cool. For some reason I like that one more because mm, yeah. it's a little sweet, but then you get like the saltiness from the egg yolk. Give that one like a 8.8 .8 out of 10. I really like that. Glad I tried it. You gotta try mazapan when you're in Toledo. Got a sample of frozen sangria. Let's try it out. It's actually really delicious. <laughs> Won't get more, but I'll probably get a headache in this heat. To show you how important mazapans are, there's another mazapan shop right here. There's the whole puerta gate of Bisagras, Bisagras in mazapan right here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Look at all these mazapans right here. Guys, they have a full life size mazapan of Don Huevote. Don Quixote? Don Quixote? Actually, this guy's even bigger. He's 11 feet tall right here. Made full of mazapan. Doesn't look delicious though, but maybe looks to be deceiving. <laughs> yeah, guys. Mazapan Don Quixote right here. Guys, that uh, Don Juezote Mazapan made me want to get my own Mazapan.
ending our Toledo trip with some kebab. Feels like you're walking in a corridor of like castle or fortress, but that's because you actually are, guys. That's Toledo for you. This uh, Syrian kebab is fire, by the way. <laughs> Man, have you tried the white sauce? What's white sauce is crazy. Mm. Almost tastes like a Taco Bell gordita wrap, but um, fresh ingredients. Guys, it feels like an airport in here. So this is the Tocha train station. We're in Madrid and we're taking this to Toledo. And you can take this to any other city, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most big cities in Madrid you can take on this train station. So let's see how it is. Fun, fun fact about that area over there. Uh, there used to be, there's a lake over there and there used to be like a lot of turtles. But they had to kill the turtles because there were too much of them and they were already having like inbred problems. <laughs> had to, to take out all the, all the turtles. Right there. So this is where we're going, Toledo. Oh, this is the high speed train. Renfit takes you from city to city. Alright, first high speed train in Spain is success from Madrid to Toledo. We actually got here a couple minutes earlier, super efficient, comfortable, and it was cheap. Only uh like 11, 12 euros for a round trip. That's crazy. Very, very efficient. But now let's see Toledo. We arrived in Toledo. Two hundred years ago. Guys. So this is the train station. Yeah, no, it looks like a museum right when you step off the high speed train in Renfe. Great way to cap off our trip here in Toledo, sitting and eating our dinner here before the train with all the boys right here. With Syrian our kebab, man. With our Syrian kebab right here. Great way to cap it off. Super crazy vibes. It's not going down right now. Super romantico. But yeah, cheers guys. If you like this video, please like it, comment down, comment down below with some recommendations for us and subscribe for more DVW travel vlogs. Deuces.